Okay, we've seen how to differentiate by first principles in the last video. Now we're going to have a look at um, well, differentiating by rule. So, okay, let's have a look at a few examples. So, say if in the last video we differentiated x squared, which meant we found the slope of the curve of x squared. So, when f of x was equal to x squared, we found f dash of x, which is the slope, was equal to 2x. If you did the same thing, so if we differentiated by first principle, say x cubed, we'd find that f dash of x would be equal to 3x squared. If we differentiated, so let's say, if we keep going with a few functions, say x to the power of 4, then f dash of x would differentiate to give us 4x cubed. Let me show you one more. So if we differentiate f of x is equal to x to the power of 5. So if the function or the curve is x to the power of 5, then when I differentiate that, if you, if you can try these by first principles and they'll all work out to be this. So we get differentiate x to the power of 5, we get 5x to the power of 4. So by all of these, you should be able to see a pattern. We should be able to see a pattern. x squared differentiates to give us 2x. So that means the slope of the curve of x squared is twice x. The slope of the curve of x cubed is 3x squared x cubed differentiates to give us 3x squared, and so on. So the, we should, you should be able to spot a pattern. And in general, if we have a function, f of x is equal to x to the power of n, so n is any, any number, then f dash of x will be equal to n multiplied by x to the power of n minus 1. So let's look at an example of that. So say we have f of the function or the curve f of x is equal to x to the power of 6, and we want to find f dash of x. Well, if f of x is equal to x to the power of n, f dash of x will equal n multiplied by x to the power of n minus 1. So in this case, the n value, the n part is 6. So that means that f dash of x will be n by x, so in this case, 6 by x to the power of 6 minus 1, to the power of 6 minus 1, so which is equal to 6x to the power of 5. If we have, let's have a look at another example. If we have, say, f of x is equal to x to the power of 7, this time the n value is 7. So that means that f dash of x, the slope of that function, will be it's n times x, n this time is 7, so it'll be 7 times x to the power of 7 minus 1, n minus 1. So we get 7x, whoops. 7x to the power of 6. So this, this is an easy way to differentiate. It's called differentiation by rule because we're not, we're just using a rule that someone has figured out, um, which is this rule here. So we don't have to do it the long way. We don't have to do it by first principles. It makes it easier to do this. So in general, okay, in general, I'm going to give you another rule in a minute. If f of x is equal to x to the power of n, then f dash of x will equal n, whoops, sorry, there you go, you can see it now. So if f of x is equal to x to the power of n, then f dash of x will equal n multiplied by x to the power of n minus 1. Let's have a look at this one. Here's another rule. If f of x is equal to, let's say, a multiplied by x to the power of n, so something like something like 3x squared, so a by x to the power of n, then f dash of x will equal, we just do exactly the same thing as we did up here, except we're going to multiply the n by the ax. So it'll be n ax to the power of n minus 1. So for example, if we want to differentiate, if we have f of x is equal to, we'll do this one over here, say 3x squared, and we want to differentiate that, so we want to find the slope of that curve. Well then, f dash of x will equal n this time is 2 and a is 3. So it'll going to be 2 times 3, so I'll do those. So 2 by 3, x to the power of 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1, which is 2 by 3 is 6, x to the power of 1, or just 6x. X. x to the power of 1 is just x. Okay, and that's, so there, there are two very, very handy rules that we can use when we're differentiating. So we don't have to differentiate by first principles. If a question says, when you're doing an exam, it says differentiate by first principles, then you have to do it the long way, like, um, like I did in the previous videos. Okay, so let's have, let's have a look at another example, because there's, there's one important case. Let's say, say less f of x, so f of x is equal to, 
Let's say x. I'm going to say 2x. Okay, so find f dash of x. We've got to find the slope of f of x. Okay, so f of x is equal to 2x. If you notice, there's no power there. Well, there's no power written there. That doesn't mean there's not a power there. The power there is actually 1. 2x is, e is the same as 2x to the power of 1. So now we can use the rule if f of x, okay, I'm going to write the rule down here. If f of, f of x is equal to ax to the power of n, then f dash of x equals n a to the x to the power of n minus 1. So this time n is 1, a is 2. So f of x is that. So f dash of x will equal 1 by 2. So 1 by 2 x to the power of 1 minus 1. 1 by 2 is 2. So we've got 2x to the power of 1 minus 1 is 0. Now be careful. Anything to the power of 0 is what? It's 1. So x to the power of 0 is actually equal to 1. Anything to the power of 0 is 1. So 2 times x to the power of 0 is 2 by 1, which is 2. So when we have f of x is equal to 2x, f dash of x is equal to 2. So this is a very, very important case. So have a, have a look at this. Um, replay the video and make sure you, you fully understand this case. Okay, there's one other thing that I want to have a look at in this video and it's when we differentiate a constant. So differentiating a constant. A constant is a number. So constant. Constant is a, any, any number. It could be 1 over 2 is a constant. 1 over 2 is always 1 over 2. It never changes. Minus 1 third is a constant. It doesn't have to be a fraction. 0 0.1 is a constant. 2 is a constant. 3 is a constant, any number like that, 10.7, these, these are all constants. And when we differentiate a constant, we get zero. So say if I have f of x is equal to, let's say, 7, then f dash of x, 7 is a constant, is equal to zero. So let's say if we have, uh, let's say if we have f of x, let's say we have a sum. So we've got f of x is equal to, let's say, 3x squared plus, well, let's say, 4x minus 6. So if we have this sum, it's a, it's a sum and a difference. We got a sum just means we're adding things, a difference is when we're subtracting. We want to find f dash of x. So this is, this is a curve. We want to come up with a formula for the slope of that curve. We can just use the rules that I gave to you. So we have, remember that x to the power of n differentiates to give you nx to the power of n minus 1 ax to the power of n differentiates to give us n a x n minus 1 and a constant let's call the constant c differentiates to give you 0 so this is this is f of, this column here is the f of x column this column here is the f dash of x okay okay so when we differentiate 3x squared so we want to so we have f of x is equal to this so f dash of x okay we got to differentiate when it's a sum or a difference like this, we can we differentiate each bit individually. So 3x squared will differentiate. Well, that looks like this one. 3x to the power of n, ax to the power of n. a is 3, n is 2. So that will differentiate to give us 2. So 2, n by a, 2 by 3, by 3, x. And then we take 1 from that, so 2 minus 1, plus 4x. Well, 4x is really 4x to the power of 1. So again, that's the same as this, ax to the power of n. So it'll be 1 by 4. So 1 by 4x, and then I take 1 minus 1, and then minus, well, when I differentiate 6, 6 is a constant, and a constant differentiates to give us 0. So I have minus 0. So let's tidy that up a little bit. 2 by 3 is 6x to the power of 1, plus 1 by 4 is 4x to the power of 1 minus 1 is 0, and then because that's, because that's a 0, I can just leave it out. And remember, anything to the power of 1 is just itself. So 6x to the power of 1 is just 6x. So we have 6x plus 4 times x to the power of 0 is 1. So that's really equal to 6x plus 4. So when I differentiate this, 3x squared plus 4x minus 6, when I differentiate that, I get 6x plus 4. So very quickly, one more example. So let's say find the slope Let's say find the slope of the curve. Let's say the curve is f of x is equal to 
x to the power of 4 plus, let's say, 3x squared minus 1. So there's a curve. Find the slope of that curve when x is equal to 1. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to differentiate this. I'm going to come up with a formula for the slope of the curve. And then I'm going to fill in x equals 1 into the slope formula. So I have f of x is equal to x to the power of 4 plus 3x squared minus 1. So that means just by following the rules, f dash of x. And, and if I did this by first principles, I'd end up with the, the exact same thing. Differentiate x to the power of 4 and I get 4x cubed plus differentiate 3x squared just by the rules, just by these rules. Differentiate 3x squared and I will get 6x to the power of 1. And differentiate minus 1, which is a constant, I get 0. So now I had the question asked me to find this. So this, this is the slope. This, this is the curve here. And this is the slope of that curve. It's a formula for the slope of that curve. I need to find the slope when x is equal to 1. It's just, I just fill in 1 into this. So I find f dash of 1 will equal to 4 by 1 cubed, 1 cubed, plus 6 by 1 to the power of 1. Which is 1 cubed is 1, 1 by 1 by 1 is 1, by 4 is 4, plus 1 to the power of 1 is 1, plus 6, times 6 is 6, so I guess 10. So the slope, the slope of this curve when x is equal to 1 is 10. So this curve is a quite a steep slope when x is equal to 1. 